Mayor Arrigo is here with a beautiful citation that he will read for Tony. Uh, yeah, I'll go. Good morning, everyone. Tony, happy birthday. How are you? Uh, we'll, we'll, sing, we'll sing happy birthday in a little bit. Uh, but first, I'm going to give you the certificate of recognition. And it says, in recognition and celebration of your impressive 100th birthday on February 8th, 2018, sincerest wishes are hereby accorded to Anthony Barrasso. So, happy birthday, sir. God bless. God bless. And uh, not... Oh, <laughs> sit down, sit down. But there's more, more to come, more to come. More to come. Because uh, I worked with uh, City Councilor uh, John Powers and our entire City Council here, uh, Anthony Zambudo and Ira Novoselsky, and we have a little special uh, uh, present for you uh, this morning. And I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Councilor Powers announce a special, <laughs> not quite a Cadillac, but it it is it is a um, a special honor. A special honor that we can give you. Here's, here's uh, Councilor John Powers. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you very much. Uh, we're here today to uh, honor not only a, a friend and a longtime friend, but uh, someone special. Uh, you know, we often hear about the, uh, uh, the book Tom Brokaw wrote about the, the greatest generation. It was a... Uh, uh, compile of uh, memories of uh, men who had served, uh, men and women who had served in World War II, and uh, it, it focused an awful lot on the uh, the Battle of the Bulge, which was uh, Hitler's greatest uh, offensive uh, toward the uh, uh, American armies or the Allied armies uh, uh, during the end of the war. And uh, uh, fortunately, uh, you know we we won that battle, uh, and uh, uh, Tony here was uh, part of that battle, and, and three others. Uh, he had received uh, four battle stars for his service uh, under General Patton's army, and uh, this this was the greatest generation. This is where uh, young men went overseas to defend their country, not knowing whether or not they were coming back, and many of them didn't. And when the ones that came back did come back, they, uh, they got jobs, they bought homes, they started families. And that was truly, uh, it was not too many years after the Depression. And it was that group of individuals that uh, built this country up, brought everything back together, and made it what it is today. And Tony was part of that group, and I want to uh, applaud him right now for that. I have a uh, I have a proclamation uh, from the uh, uh, city council and uh, and the mayor and I, I would like to uh, read that if I may. It says uh, revere a proclamation. Whereas on February 8th, 2018, 18, uh, Anthony Barrasso uh, will reach his 100 years birthday. We're and uh, uh, Tony has some, uh, many, t he lives in East Boston, but he has many ties to Revere, and I'll tell you a little about that. Whereas Anthony and his two brothers and three sisters, having lost their mother at an age of three years, were raised by their uncle Joseph Del Grasso in the home at 815 Broadway Revere. Whereas prior to being sent to Europe in 1942, Anthony married his sweetheart, Grace Marie de Stefano, and together they raised a family of two daughters, Janice and Denise, and became the grand, uh, proud grandparents of four grandchildren and six uh, great-grandchildren. Whereas Anthony and Grace enjoyed 70 years of love and happiness together with their family on the street where they first met, Bremen Street in East Boston. And whereas Tony uh, would always return to the city of Revere, whether to where he grew up, whether to participate in social activities uh, or uh, political campaigns. His, uh, 
everybody thinks that he's Joey Joe Grosso's uncle. Actually, he's his cousin. And uh, and uh, and uh, after Joey passed, uh, uh, Tony, uh, wanting to help some friends, called upon me and said, "What can I do for you? I hear you're running for office." And he has been there ever since, from that first uh, day in the year 2000. And. Uh, <laughs> Now, now, therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and the city council of the city of Revere, on behalf of the citizens of Revere, express our sincerest congratulations on the occasion of your 100th birthday. Be it further resolved that in recognition of your 100th birthday and your, your love for your family and your service to your country, that this Thursday, February 8th, be celebrated as Anthony Barrasso Day in the city of Revere. Further, that the, uh, the city of Revere extends to Anthony Barrasso and his family our best wishes for continued good health and happiness for all the days to come. This proclamation is issued in the executive and legislative chambers of the city of Revere this fifth day of January in the year of our Lord 2018 and in the independence of the United States of America, the 241st, is signed by Mayor Brian Arrigo, uh, Jessica Janino, City Council Hi. President, John Powers, Ward 5 Councilor, and our City Clerk, Ashley Melnick. Tony, congratulations, and, you know, Okay, I know I, I I know who's here. I'll get you up here, really. So, Representative Vincent is here, Rosalie Vincent, with a proclamation. And I just wanted to say that the Speaker of the House, Bob DeLeo, will be here. He just couldn't make it at this time, but he will be stopping by in about 40 minutes or so. Representative Vincent. Hi, Tony. How are you? Happy birthday. Happy birthday from the uh, state. I have the honor of being here representing Speaker of the House Bob DeLeo and Senator Joe Boncori, and we all want to wish you a very, very happy birthday, okay? And we, and we also have citations um, from the state to honor you as well. And I, maybe the speaker might just be able to give you a... Um, Maybe a state holiday on your, you know, I know the city already did something, but maybe we can do something statewide. I'm not sure, though. I can't guarantee, but I'm just going to read this to you, all right, Tony? It just, it says, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the House of Representatives, be it hereby known to all that they offer its sincerest congratulations to Anthony Barrasso in recognition of the joyous occasion of your 100th birthday and best wishes and blissful memories that you share with your family and friends. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune in all your endeavors, okay? And it's signed by Speaker of the House Robert A. DeLeo it's also signed by Adrian Madero and myself, Rosalie Vincent. Very nice. And there's also one here from, from Joe Boncori. It's a Senate one, so you're a very important man today. Yeah. Woo! All right. Okay, Tony, we now have two representatives from Congresswoman Clark's office. We have Felipe, Felipe Carraro and Jay Higgins. Thank you so much, and thank you for, for having us. Uh, unfortunately, the Congresswoman couldn't make it today, but this was such an important event uh, that she made sure to send not only myself, uh, but Felipe. Both of us are veterans, um, and in fact, until a couple weeks ago, half of our office was comprised of veterans. Um, so this is an issue that's very important to the Congresswoman. Um, so on behalf of Congresswoman Catherine Clark, I'd like to present you with this certificate uh, from the from Congresswoman Catherine Clark on behalf of the United States House of Representatives. Thank you for your service, Anthony. Okay. You want to take a picture now? Or you want to, why don't we have, let's finish these. 
I'd also like to introduce Director of Revere's Veterans of Affairs Office, Mark Silvestri, a veteran himself. Happy birthday, Tony. Um, with great honor and pride, the City of Revere, Mayor Brian and Marigo, and the Department of Veterans Service present Anthony M. Barrasso for his distinguished service to the United States Army. We honor Mr. Barrasso for his courage and selfless service during World War II. PFC Barrasso, Barrasso found himself defending freedom in four major battles, including the Battle of the Bulge, while attached to the 101st Screaming Eagles. Thank you, PFC Anthony Barrasso, for all you've done to make this country safe for future generations. Happy birthday, Tony. And the mayor and the mayor would like to come up and present you with a coin. Um, I just want to say also that the Massachusetts Director of Veterans Services, Francesco Urena, tried to get here, but he just had a conflict. But he does send his regards. He's going to try to make Tony's party on Thursday. So he has another party on Thursday. And, and I think I see the Speaker of the House coming, Yay! Representative Bob DeLeo. Speaker Bob DeLeo, thank you for coming to honor Tony. Here you go. That's right. <laughs> That's me. Thank you so much. In case you think I'm a little crazy wearing the red today, you think I'm a little bit early on Valentine's Day? No, I'm not, okay? Today happens to be Go Red for Women Day. Which means that up at the State House, we, uh, we had a, a ceremony wherein we uh, make sure that all people, but especially women, remember uh, the, uh, the issues with heart disease. Um, so that's what we, we just came from. But most importantly, we're here to really celebrate the birthday of a very special man. And I've got to tell you an interesting story about this guy. You know, when I first ran for office here in the city and every year since, and every time that I was out holding my signs and he was out holding um, his signs, there was never anyone more pleasant or kinder to me than Anthony, than Tony Barrasso. And that is something. And although he has had a great life in terms of, you know, you know, with his, you know, being a great family uh, man, uh, the service, the outstanding service to his country, which is second um, uh, to none. The thing that I, the reason that I made sure uh, that I got over here only to turn around and have to go back because I wanted to be here because I, I just wanted to honor the person and he is such a very very special person if you want to talk about a good decent man you look in the dictionary he's the guy that they talk about so I just wanted to thank you for all your kindness my friend was we're still here, we're still involved in politics a little bit, the two of us, huh? And uh, God bless you, may God keep you well for many, many more years to come. <laughs>